With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Let's discuss the given problem. In the given problem, if x is equal to sin cube t upon under root of cos 2t and y is equal to cos cube t upon under root of cos 2t, then we have to show that dy by dx is equal to 0 at t equal to pi by 6. So, we have to find the value of dy by dx at t equal to pi by 6. So, first of all, after observing this problem, we can say, that x is a function of t and y is also a function of t. And to calculate the value of dy by dx, we have to calculate the value of derivative of x and y with respect to t respectively. Right. So, we have to calculate the value of dx by dt. Right. So, dx by dt is given by differentiation of this equation with respect to t on both the sides. So, after differentiating the right hand side of this equation we are going to obtain the value of dx by dt so let us differentiate this so this would be d of sin cube t divided by under root of cos 2t with respect to dt right so this is d by dt of sin cube t upon under root of cos 2t right now to differentiate such type of expressions that is d of u by v we are going to use the formula of u dash v minus v dash u divided by v square right so when we use this formula the value of dx by dt is obtained as under root of cos 2t multiplied by 3 times sin square t multiplied by minus of cos t right and this would be minus of now we have to differentiate under root of cos 2t so that would be 1 upon 2 root of cos 2t multiplied by sin 2t multiplied by 2 and multiplied by sin cube t why is it like so because this is differentiation of 1 upon cos under root under root of cos 2t so this is 1 upon 2 root cos 2t right now we have to differentiate cos 2t so that would be sin 2t and after differentiating sin 2t not sin 2t we have to differentiate this 2t so that would give us 2 and this is u so this is sin cube t right and now this whole value should be divided by square of under root cos 2t right so under root of cos 2t is squared now right so we have to solve this expression so we can say that dx by dt is equal to now we can solve it right so this is minus of 3 times cos t and this is sin square t right and now this is under root of cos 2t so this is under root of cos 2t and here it is a negative sign this is 2 and this is also 2 so this gets cancelled and this is sin cube t multiplied by sin 2t so we can write it out as 2 times sin t cos t because we know that sin 2t is equal to 2 sin t cos t and this remains as it is that is sin cube t right and now in the denominator part we have under root of cos 2t so this is under root of cos 2t right and now the whole value is divided by under root of cos 2t square so that is giving us the value as cos 2t right now we have to find the value of dy by dt right so we can do that by differentiating the second equation that is given in the problem so we have to differentiate this equation we have to use the same formula here so let's move ahead right so first of all the differentiation of cos cube t will be 3 times cos square t and now differentiation of cos t is equal to sin t and now under root of cos 2t right now we have to differentiate 1 upon under root cos 2t so that would give us 1 upon 2 root cos 2t now we have to differentiate cos 2t so that would give us sin 2t 
and differentiation of 2t is going to give us 2 now this should be multiplied by cos cube t right now this whole expression is divided by a square value of under root of cos 2t right so this is under root cos 2t whole square right now after that we have to simplify this expression so this would give us dy by dt and that is equal to this is basically 3 times sin t under root of cos 2t and this is cos square t right so this is 3 sin t cos square t and this is under root of cos 2t right and this is minus of now here it is 2 and 2 so this gets cancelled and this is sin 2t again so we can write it as sin t and cos t right so 2 sin t cos t that is sin 2t and this is cos cube t as it is right and the denominator part is square of under root cos 2t so that would give us cos 2t right now here it is in denominator a value which is 1 upon cos root under root of cos 2t right so let us write it out here so this is under root of cos 2t and now we can write the whole denominator as cos 2t right now we have to solve this ahead so first of all we are requiring the value of dy by dx at t equal to pi by 6 right now to calculate dy by dx we have used dy by dt divided by dx by dt right so now when we have the value of dx by dt and dy by dt with us right so after dividing the value of this equation by this equation this is going to get cancelled and the numerator part would be obtained as 3 times sin is sin t multiplied by cos square t multiplied by under root of cos 2t minus of 2 times sin t into cos to the power 4t right and the denominator part would be obtained as 3 times this is going to be minus 3 times sin square t cos t under root cos 2t so this is minus of 3 sin square t cos t and this is under root of cos 2t right and this should be minus of 2 times sin to the power 4t into cos t right so this is minus of 2 times sin to the power 4t into cos t right and we have forgotten this part that is under root of cos 2t here and under root of cos 2t over there also right so we can solve it out here only there is no need to repeat it again so how would we simplify this since we know that this is the denominator part of this one so it would be multiplied by this when we take the lcm right and in the same here also it would be multiplied by this value when we take the lcm so this would get cancelled finally so that basically under root of cos 2t would be squared right so we will obtain cos 2t instead so this would be cos 2t and this would be also cos 2t so now the changes are being done and we need not solve it again right so further we can calculate the value of dy by dx at t equal to pi by 6 by substituting the value of t as pi by 6 in this one right so this would become 3 sin t now 3 times sin of pi by 6 is equals to 1 upon 2 right cos square of pi by 6 is equals to root 3 by 2 square right now this is cos 2t that is cos of pi by 3 cos of pi by 3 is equal to 1 upon 2 so that is it right now minus this is 2 times sin t sin of 5 by 6 is equals to 1 upon 2 and cos to the power 4 t and that is equal to root 3 by 2 to the power 4 right so this becomes root 3 by 2 to the power 4 and now we have to substitute the value of t in the denominator as well so this would be minus of 3 multiplied by sine square t sin of 5 by 6 is 1 by 2 so we have to square that right and this is multiplied by cos of t cos of pi by 6 is equal to root 3 by 2 
and then this is multiplied by cos of 5 by 3 so that is equal to 1 upon 2 now we have to subtract 2 times sine to the power 40 and sine of 5 by 6 is equal to 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 2 to the power 4 multiplied by cos t and cos t is equal to root 3 by 2 to the power 1 right so this becomes the expression and now we have to solve this to obtain the value of dy by dx at t equal to pi by 6 right so this comes out to be equivalent to now we have to solve this so this is 3 multiplied by square of root 3 so that becomes 3 into 3 that is equal to 9 and in the denominator part this is 2 multiplied by 2 that is 4 4 multiplied by 2 to the power 2 that is again 16 right now minus this is 2 by 2 so this gets cancelled right now this is root 3 to the power 4 that means 3 multiply, multiplied by 3 so that gives us 9 divided by 2 to the power 4 is 16 divided by a denominator that we need not solve because this value comes out equivalent to be 0 right now we have proved this because the required problem says that dy by dx is equal to 0 at t equal to pi by 6 for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today